Welcome to the Reloaded Workshop Tutorial Part 6B. In this video we'll talk about the third and final new feature that's coming out in version 1.1.006 and that's the ability to record uh, the jump value or the, uh, the distance that a bullet travels uh, as it leaves the case before it hits the plans and grooves or the rifling of your uh, firearm. So if you set the jump uh, for a particular batch of ammo, uh, you, you can record that information. If you look down here on the bottom right of the batch details group here, uh, you see this new field called jump set, uh, question mark. And so it's a checkbox. Now if I check that, another field appears below it uh, where I can record the jump. Now let's say I do a jump of uh, 0 0.02 for example. Okay. And I can hit update and there it is. Now it'll come back and it'll say jump 0 0.02. So that's easy enough to do. I, I really didn't need to do a video in order to show you that. I think everybody could have figured that out on their own. Okay. Now a couple things I, that I do need to go into though because there's a little bit more that you can do with this. So let's take a look up here at the firearm specific group uh, for a few minutes. Now there's five pieces of information up here uh, that are interesting to us uh, in terms of our batch details and creating a batch of ammunition. Now if we have any firearm selected then generally you're going to use the defaults for that particular caliber using that particular bullet and so on. So there's uh, you know, there's really nothing you can glean from this information up here. But if you, uh, let's say we select a, a, a firearm, say a Smith & Wesson M&P 15 here. Well now you'll see that a couple new pieces of information have popped up. We now have a headspace and neck uh, sizing information. Okay. Still don't have a CBTO or a jump, uh, but we have a little bit more with the Smith & Wesson. Okay. Um, now how do we go back, where is that data coming from and how do we actually set it? For example, how do we set the CBTO and the jump so it, it, we can use it? Okay, let me go back to the firearms tab. Now edit that M&P 15 rifle. And you'll see up here under firearm specs, well here's two of our pieces of data here, the, the headspace 1.69 and the neck uh, size 2. Or 0. Uh, 0.228. Now those values are fixed uh, no matter what bullet you use, what cartridge, whatever. The, the head spacing is determined by the size of your chamber and your bolt uh, on your rifle. The neck sizing is basically dependent on the uh, uh, the size of your chamber, the, the, the neck portion of your chamber. Now uh, those are going to stay remain the same regardless of what bullet you use. Now you, of course you'd have to, to get the head spacing, you'd have to fire some rounds, case form, uh, do a little, form some, fire form some cases, measure those, determine what the head spacing is, and that'll give you what a, a, a good starting point for this particular firearm, what, what its chamber head spacing is. Uh, same thing with the uh, next side, it gives you a good starting point. Now there are other things that are dependent on what bullet you use, and that's the cartridge overall length, the CBTO, and the jump. That's all going to change depending on what bullet you use for this particular firearm. So I'm going to add a new bullet. That uh, uh, load that we were looking at this now, use the Hornady 2229 uh, bullet. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and tell it to use the max uh, cartridge overall length. I can set my cart cartridge uh, or my CVTO to something. I'm just going to pick some numbers here. And let's say that results in a jump of 0 0.0 three four for example. Okay. So there's the three the other three pieces of information. Once I've 
determined, or I've, I've used this bullet for a while, I've, I've created some loads, I determined what the CBTO is that, that corresponds to this uh, cartridge overall length, and what j uh, jump uh, value that would uh, result in with this particular rifle. Okay, So I'll add that information to my firearm. Here's my bullet specific information. Now if I come over here to the batch editor, and I take a look, of course, this is the load that I'm using. It uses the Hornady 2229 uh, bullet. All of these things are, are zero. The neck sizing, the CBTO, head spacing, the jump is still at point, uh, 0 .020, zero, which is what I said it to before. Now, let me select that firearm. And you'll see here's all the information that I recorded, the, the head spacing and neck sizing that was already there. And now I have the CBTO and the jump as well. Now I can hit transfer and that will transfer all of the or these five pieces of information from the firearm down to the batch details. And I can use these values then as a starting point. It even sets my jump down here to 0 .034. So if I have experience with this particular bullet, with this particular firearm uh, in the past, I can select that firearm and I can get, gather some of the information that I need uh, in order to create a batch using that bullet for that firearm. Of course, if you're not sure what firearm you're going to shoot the, the batch with, you're just creating it for any firearm, and of course, you would probably use a set of, of minimums that uh, uh, would fit any firearm. So that's really all there is to setting the jump. Uh, I did want to go over, you know, using the firearm specific data a little bit. And the firearm specific uh, data is, it works a little differently. Of course, I added the jump here uh, with this version, but I, it, it operates a little differently. This transfer button was never here before. So I wanted to go over that a little bit. Now, for right now, the jump doesn't really do anything for you. Um, it, uh, it's just a value there that you can look at and come back to this this batch later on and look at it and realize and see that you know that's the jump that I used uh, for this particular batch or these are all the settings that I used for this batch. Uh, but the jump value doesn't do anything yet. Now there's going to be some features uh, in in upcoming releases that uh, will actually use the jump value and you know uh, give you some additional information when you're doing the birds. That's all for this video. I hope you liked it. If so, please click the like button. Maybe even subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and happy reloading.